In this InVivo 15 for Mac tutorial video, we're going to talk about classifications. We'll talk about what a classification is in the InVivo world. We'll talk about how to import classification sheets and then how to code one of your data files to a classification. So in, in InVivo, there are two types of classifications. You see in the navigation view that there are file classifications and case classifications. File classifications would be used if you were doing a structured lit review, you wanted to import articles and references for articles, and each one would have a whole set of attributes for that article. For example, who the author was, the year it was published, the journal it was published in, and so forth. We're going to focus in on case classifications, which you see down here below. Case classifications are often the participants in your study, could be a unit like a school, could be a case. But in this case, our cases are going to be students. And as you might remember from earlier videos, I've got a whole set of, of surveys that were created by students' families. I also have journals that were created by the family, so I have two different types of data sources. And each one is connected to a particular student. So what I'd like to be able to do is whenever I open this Leslie file, I also want information about the Le Leslie's family demographics to be connected to the file. So for instance, it could be things like her gender, the school she attends, who her teacher was, the language that's spoken by her family. So those are some kinds of things that, that we actually did collect in this study. So of course, we've got pseudonyms here everywhere, but here is a classification sheet I'm opening in Excel. And in many ways, I think this is the most common way that I've seen researchers do this. So what you see here is in the top left corner, we should have the name of our classification. I'm going to call this classification that we're going to import student because it is students who are the cases. I've got the student's name. I've got what school the student attended who the student's teacher was, whether they are an English learner or not, what language is spoken at home, their ethnicity, gender, whether a parent survey was collected, that would be a yes or no answer, whether we have permission to share their journal, yes or no, and so forth. So each case, for instance, Amari, has a set of attributes. And what we'd like to be able to do is connect all of these attributes to every file that deals with Amari. So we're, going to, so we're going to connect them to the Amari case, and once we code Amari's survey and Amari's journal responses to that case, then no matter how we use that data, all of these demographic factors are going to be connected to the file. So the first thing that you need to do is to prepare a spreadsheet to be imported into InVivo. You can't import it just like this. You, instead, you have to open it in Excel. So I've got this opened in Excel, and I'm going to have to save it. I'm going to save a copy, and I need to change the, not as a workbook, but as a CSV UTF-8 comma delimited file. So it's, I need a .CSV file, and I'm going to save that. Uh, let's make it go out to the desktop so we can find it pretty easily. So I've taken care of, of formatting the file that we're going to bring into InVivo. There it is. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is to import this, this classification sheet into InVivo so that the classifications can, can become part of our InVivo project. So to do that, you go to the Import tab, and you see the Classifications option, and we're going to import a classification sheet. I need to locate that. And we're going to see the Import Classification Sheets uh, Assistant here. And it's just going to sort of walk us through the process. So the first thing we need to do is change the classification type because I'm using ca case classifications. You do want to have clicked Create New Attributes if they do not exist. We're going to create a new case classification. I'm going to call it Student because that's what it's called on my sheet. And that's what, it'll, that's what it will be called inside of InVivo. Click Next. I do want to create new cases if they do not exist. This next sheet, the choices about the way the dates are formatted and so forth, it's not really a choice for us. And we're going to click Import. OK, so we've imported our classification sheet. And this is the window that opens up in Detail View. What you're seeing here are each of the attributes of each of the cases, ELL status, ethnicity, gender, 
do we have permission to share the journal and so forth. If you want to see it in the format that looks more like a classification sheet, you click the button that says classification sheet and we see the name of the case, Adiola, and then we see the values for each of the attributes, so school, teacher, ELL status, language, and so forth at this top row, those are called attributes. And then for each attribute, the child or the case should have only one value. So uh, the, each child attended only one school, has one teacher, and so forth. So there's, there's an, sometimes you can have yes or no answers. Other times you may have a menu of different schools. In this case, we had 13 different schools. So there will be 13 different codes that could be given here. So when we go to Adiola, we see that we know she attended school C. Her teacher is PL. She's not an, an English learner. The language spoken at home is English. She's black or African-American. She's female and so forth. So what we want is all of those different demographic pieces of information to be attached to Adiola's file. So we're going to go over and look for her file. Let's see if we can find that one. If not, we'll choose another student that we can find quickly. Let's look, let's look for Angel. Okay, let's open Angel's survey. So we'd like to have all the characteristics that had to do with Angel and his family attached to every bit of this file. So the way that we're going to do that is to open the file in detail view and I'm going to control click and we've got the option to code files and notice that one of the choices is to existing codes or cases. We're going to want to code to an existing case. So I'm going to click that option and I've got a open up the cases to find Angel's. There he is. I'm going to click the button next to, next to him and I'm going to select and we should find it code to his case. Now if we want to look at the cases, let's open those up. Let's look at Angel's. We find that that all the data that's coded to his case would be visible from his, from his case, uh, it looks like a little suitcase, his case file. The other way that we can take a look at the way this has now been coded is to go back to his survey. Let's open it up. And if I turn on coding stripes, and I'll turn on color so it makes it easier to see, you see that the whole file has been coded to the Angel case. There's a little bit of other coding that's been done as well. but you'll see that all the different units have been coded to the Angel case and therefore we know that all the demographic information is connected to every single unit here. So anything that we might highlight here to code elsewhere is also coded to all the demographic information that is connected to Angel's case.